In this lecture, I'll show you how to import and use Go modules in your Go applications. All examples in this section assume that you are using Go version 1.13 or later. If you use an older version, it won't work. Update your Go version to 1.13 or to the latest one. By the way, you can check your Go version by running in a terminal Go version. This is my Go version. I've already created a module with a package inside it and published it on my GitHub account. We'll use it in the following example. This is my GitHub account and this is the module. Its name is Hello Mod. This simple module called Hello Mod contains just one package. But of course, a module can contain more packages. The package contains one file called hellomod.go and there are two functions defined. Say hello and salut. They print out hello go in English and in Romanian. I wanted something simple because we are only focusing on how to import and use modules. And believe me, when you are a beginner, this is not the simplest thing to do. There are so many gotchas and I can honestly say that I spent a lot of time to put all these things together. Ok, let's go to coding. The first step is to create a new directory for the new Go application that will use the module. You can create it anywhere on the disk. You are not bound to go path directory anymore. In this example, I'll create the project directory on my desktop. I'm opening the desktop directory. And on my desktop directory, I'll create a new directory called hello. This is the directory of our Go application. Then I'll create a file called main.go in that directory. This will be an executable package that will use the module. And the typical structure of any Go application, package main and func main. Perfect. I am opening the directory in a terminal. I am in that directory. The next step is to enable the use of modules. I'll run go mod init hello. Hello is the name of the directory. Go mod init automatically generates go.mod file which defines project requirements and locks dependencies to their correct versions. It's like package.json for npm, of course, if you have used Node.js. Cut go.mod. This is the contents of the file. The next step is to consume or use the module. I'm gonna import the GitHub path in my application. A module has to be a version control system or VCS repository like GitHub. Import and the path to my GitHub module. Hello mod. This is the path. Take care, don't use HTTP or HTTPS. Ok. Here I'd have one remark. You import the package, not the module. A package is a directory inside another directory, which is the module. In this example, there is one module with just one package inside and they are in the same directory. I'll show you in the next lectures how to use modules that contain more packages, each package in its own directory. Hello mod is both the name of the module and the package. Inside main, I'll call the functions defined in the package. They are say hello and salut. And of course, I'm using the dot notation we've already seen, package name dot function name. 
Hello mod, dat, salut. Notice how it starts with an uppercase letter. They are exported or public functions. And hello mod, dat, say hello. These are the functions. Finally, I'll execute go build or go run main.go. This is the content of go.mod before executing go build. And I'm building the application go build. Besides building the application, it will also automatically execute go get command to download the imported packages. They will be saved in GoPath directory. Let's see the content of go.mod after executing go build. And it has added this require statement. I've just downloaded, imported, and used a Go module hosted on GitHub. If I list the current directory, I'll see there an executable file, hello.exe. And I'm running the program. Salute Go and Hello Go. Perfect. We are seeing the correct output. Let's list the content of the current directory. And we notice that Go has created a file named go.sum to save the checksums of the downloaded dependencies. When you share your module, GoSum plays an important role to ensure 100% reproductible builds by validating the checksum of each module. This is its contents, module path, version, and its checksum or hash. Go run main.go. I can also run the application this way. But where are Go modules stored locally? They are stored inside GoPath PKG mod directory, which is the module cache directory. Let's check it. I am moving to GoPath. This is GoPath directory. And I am listing the mod directory inside pkg. pkg slash mod. This is where Go is saving the module cache. This is the module. It seems like we haven't been able to get rid of Go path at all. Go has to cache modules somewhere on the system to prevent repeated downloads of the same module with the same version. Okay, in the next lectures, I'll show you how to create and publish your own modules on GitHub.